technicians start by exercising any outdoor valves and fire department connections to make sure everything is functional in the event of an emergency. Signals are also verified at the fire panel if valves are tampered. The technicians then move inside to start the inspection of the riser. The main control valve for the riser is exercised. This valve may be locked and or supervised based on your local jurisdiction. The residual water pressure is noted and recorded on the inspection tag located at the riser. Next, the main drain for the riser is opened to get a static flow pressure. The tech flows water long enough to get an accurate reading and then closes the valve back. They record the residual pressure on the inspection tag right below the static pressure. The tech then records the current air pressure of the system on the inspection tag. At this time, the technicians prepare the dry system to be trip tested. A second technician then opens the inspector test valve to allow air to escape the system. The first technician times the trip while observing the gauges for pressure loss. After enough pressure is lost in the system, the clapper will open and the system will flood with water. The technicians continue to time until water reaches the inspector's test point. The main control valve to the system is shut off. After the control valve is off, the main drain valve is opened to allow the water to drain out of the system. While the system is draining, the trip and water flow time is recorded on the sprinkler tag. The technician writes their initials, license number, and date down at the bottom of the tag. Once the system is fully drained, the technician removes the faceplate of the valve to check for any obstructions or excessive buildup, and that the cover, flapper, and internal parts are in good working condition. After the internal inspection of the valve is complete, the technician places the faceplate back on the valve, tightens the bolts, and begins the process to place it back in service. The air supply to the system is turned back on to allow the system to refill with air and pressurize to an acceptable level. Once the air has returned to a normal pressure, the technician begins to set the valve by reintroducing water from below by opening the main control valve while simultaneously closing the main drain valve. Once the pressure is equalized, the system is back in service. The technician hangs the inspection tag back on the riser and turns the control valve to locked and or supervised position as it was upon arrival to the site. The technician checks for extra sprinkler heads on site and verifies the age of the heads required by code. Finally, the technician makes sure all paperwork is complete for the inspection, including attaching any deficiencies, notes, or pictures to the report.